Severe weather happening right now on live Super Doppler 4 giving us that instant look. Let me zoom into where I see the worst of the storms right now and it's over Lawrence, Greenwood counties, Abbeville County. It's been a feisty evening of storms. Look at these severe alerts that we have and large warnings in a place. Let's start with this one up toward Princeton and Ware Shoals. It's really coming down right in here and pretty much hanging out over the same spot. My concern with this because it's not moving that downdraft as this storm collapses could let out a big rush of wind right there in the western parts of Lawrence County near Highway 76. So watching that closely, then you scoot on down here to the northern part of Lake Greenway. We've got some feisty winds as well. 60 plus miles per hour possible from Coronaca toward Cross Hill. This warning goes until 430 and then a newly issued warning here for the southern end of Greenwood County for Bradley, Troy, Kirksey. This is a very feisty line moving into the southern part of Greenwood County, putting a track on this. It'll be in Callison, Gaines Crossroads, Kirksey and then Cambridge at about 437. Scooting up the hill a little bit. This is right along Henderson County and Greenville County, just north of the water reservoir right there. We have a feisty storm that looks to be on its way down as it's moving toward Columbus and Saluda as well as Landrum. As we look outside from Greenville right now, it is just a very hot day. 91 degrees feels like 94. Our winds are about to change. We're going to get more of a north northwesterly wind, some drier air, some cooler air begins to move on in and I use cooler relatively. It's going to be in the 80s instead of the 90s. Still toasty, but better than we have been. You see a little taste of that already moving into Asheville. As it looks like the front has already pushed through your area, as well as some rain cooled air there with the 70s in the mountains, where we're still in the 90s in the upstate. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up mid to upper 60s, hour by hour tomorrow, most of us are dry. Friday night hits games, uh, Friday date night, looking a okay with temperatures a lot more comfortable in the low to mid 80s. We can handle that. Western North Carolina temperatures get into the low 80s with scattered afternoon thunderstorms. And we're going to be watching that because things are going to change for us and we get a bit more unsettled going into the weekend. Let me show you the latest computer model. Most of us are dry as we go into the overnight hours beyond these storms this evening. Then we see tomorrow an isolated chance, mainly in the mountains, three, four o'clock. The rest of us are dry. However, going into tomorrow night into Saturday, we'll have a shower here, a thunderstorm there. That's going to be the case throughout the day on Saturday. Look at all the areas that are dry. But yes, there will be those thunderstorms that crop up Saturday afternoon going into the evening hours. They can be locally heavy. I don't think they're going to ruin your entire day for outdoor plans, but do know that there could be some really heavy downpours across town Saturday afternoon for those ball games, and some of them could linger into Saturday evening as well. So it will play spoiler to some of your plans. We need to watch Hurricane Lee. It is becoming a major hurricane, very likely a cat three right now. I don't have the new report in from the National Hurricane Center. They're finishing it up right now. They'll release it within the next probably 30 minutes, but I have every belief that this is going to become a cat three, cat four, then eventually cat five. The pronounced eye wall, a very, very pronounced uh, storm cloud deck right there, and then it's got a big feathered look to it on the edge. Almost looks like a sawzall. It kind of is uh, circular saw, I should say, as it's moving off toward the west. Get my saws right. Uh, it, it is very organized. And unfortunately, this is a major storm that is just a, a monster really winds are at 105 miles per hour with the latest advisory is pushing toward the west new track has this as a cat five by Saturday cat four has been going to early next week and again we have every uh, indication that this is probably going to make a turn to the north but it looks like it stalls out stalls out and then goes to the north we'll likely still be tracking this system this time next week as it sits somewhere in here. It's going to be a long road ahead with this one. Thankfully, it's not over land as it's doing that. It's just sitting here uh, cat four, cat five strength for a couple of days. Here comes the cold front that's going to steer all this middle of next week gives us some cooler weather, some rain here and there. But here we are. If that cold front comes in any slower, look how close this gets to the United States. This would be a couple hundred miles offshore of New England. That's why we say from Maine to Florida, We've got to watch Lee, a full tropical breakdown coming up in our next half hour. Four day looks like this 86 tomorrow, 81 on Saturday. No washouts this weekend, but it could feel like that at times on Saturday as there will be some rain pretty heavy at times. 84 by next week and then look at that. I've got 70s in the forecast with that next cool down coming in. Western North Carolina, I've got low 70s in the forecast next week.